Breaking updates coming in. In fact, they've accessed a photo of the neutralized shooter. And in the photo, you can see the officers surrounding the shooter, the Secret Service uh, the officials around the shooter. Let's go across to Ankit for the details. Ankit, uh, take us through the details of this. Uh, of course, any evidence is going to be very, very crucial in these investigations. Uh, most definitely. And once again, this is uh, being widely shared in the US media. This is a uh, visual that has been clicked by, by this time there were several bystanders and we saw an earlier vantage of uh, this uh, area. This is the shed on which the shooter had uh, fired from and there you can see I count at least four officers who have uh, surrounded this uh, shooter who by this time it uh, is likely has already been neutralized. He was probably neutralized by uh, the uh, Secret Service uh, sniper who we showed our viewers earlier which we'll come to also in just a moment. So there are two officers. They appear to be from two separate agencies, uh, two of these in dark uniforms, the other two in a more uh, military style uh, camouflage uniforms, and they have climbed onto this shed, Pratiba, and here beneath them, uh, I don't know how clearly it's possible to see, but laying down here, also in uh, khaki uh, colored gear, is this uh, presumed shooter who appears to be lifeless. This officer is uh, holding his hand up, and I don't know the significance of this, but this appears to be a visual of after the shooting, after the neutralization, these officers climbing on to the vantage point shed from which this shooter had fired the bullet at former President Donald Donald Trump and this is the video which we showed our viewers just a short while back of the moment that that shooting happened. Trump is here. Trump has ducked for cover. There is a, a sniper of the Secret Service who is primed for action for precisely this kind of uh, scenario. He's on what they call an eagle's nest. He has a bird's eye view, so to say, or as close as one can get to a bird's eye view from uh, this particular location. Remember, with the very low buildings there. And just look at his reaction. Look at his body language. At a certain point, he uh, looks up and then he goes back down to his gun and he clearly like fires. You can see some amount of recoil there. I'm wondering if that is recoil but he would not otherwise move his rifle to that extent if he hadn't fired. So perhaps this is the moment when shots were exchanged. There were about seven or eight gunshots is what we counted. It's impossible to tell which shot came from which gun but uh, the sniper on the roof here, the Secret Service sniper tried to fire back at the shooter. The shooter fired at Trump. He fired multiple bullets. One rally goer was killed and two were critically hurt is the latest. We don't know what is the status of those who are critically hurt. We are also hearing trickling in information. It's not solidified yet of details of who the shooter was. Apparently the Secret Service knows, but we are waiting for some kind of confirmation on that.